What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here. Since I am doing reviews for a Ron Howard films, here's my review for a Ron Howard's last film of the 90s, and that is the 1999 comedy EDTV. Now, this film pretty much got around uh, in the same year as, uh, as reality shows mainly had a uh, big footing. You know, it got released around the same year as stuff like the Jerry Springer show and all. Uh, and this film stars Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrison, who will later go on to both star on uh, True Detective uh, years, you know, years later. And the film stars Matthew McConaughey, who portrays a character named Ed uh, Pergnani, who is this Texas charmer who is discovered during auditions by a Dayspur uh, cable uh, channel. He, of course, can't talk uh, regular or he can't uh, talk Texan. He says, like, uh, demonstrating um, accent as a, a TV... As is a TV producer played by famed TV talk show host uh, Ellen DeGeneres about before, you know, she had her talk show and all that. Who watches and, uh, enraptured here. And so, like, televising uh, Ed's, you know, life is her, um, idea. Uh, her boss is portrayed by Rob Reiner, who has his, uh, doubts at first until he, uh, until, you know, um, she points out that, um, their current ratings are lower than uh, the gardening, uh, channel. And so Ed is uh, signed by the uh, channel, which also uh, which also gets released from the pe uh, people in his uh, world, including his uh, brother Ray, portrayed by Woody Harrelson. Uh, Ray's girlfriend is Sherry, portrayed by Jenna Elfman. Uh, his mother is portrayed by Sally Kirkman, and his stepfather portrayed by the late great uh, Mont Landau. And the first hours of um, the new show are like slow and going, including a uh, toenail clipping uh, demonstration. It's pretty much a film about TV show business. Uh, you also have some really other cool castles, like you have uh, Dennis Hopper, who portrays uh, Ed's birth father. The gorgeous Elizabeth Hurley uh, portrays the uh, British sex uh, bombshell here, uh, who ends up appearing on um, Ed's uh, viewfinder. And, you know, this, is, this does feel like movies like, uh, you know, The Truman Show, and all, and... You know, it, it's pretty much a... Uh, of course, this film got released in 1999, and I say it was ahead of its time. I couldn't imagine this, if this thing was released today. Of course, reality shows are more bigger today with whether you talk about the Kardashians or uh, Real Housewives and all that. I And with lots of other talk shows now with uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live and all. Something like this could definitely be made today, you know? And Ron Howard, of course, he is no stranger for TV gigs because, of course, uh, he was on the Andy Griffith Show and Happy Days. So he's pretty popular in the TV world as an as an actor in the TV genre. And this is definitely a really solid uh, film for Ron Howard's uh, resume. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, you know, she was she's not really that great of an actress, but I thought she was pretty solid in this one. I mean, the only. Uh, role that Ellen DeGeneres is great in is, that, is of course, as the voice of Dory in the Fine uh, Nemo films. But her actual acting as sci-fi Nemo uh, with, you know, EDTV was pretty solid. Uh, Woody Harrelson and, um, and uh, Matthew McConaughey, like I said, uh, years later, they would go on to appear on, uh, you know, True Detective together, so there's that. Uh, you also had other good castles, like you even had a cameos by uh, Micah Mora, Bill Mora, Jay Leno, Arena Huffington. Uh, you even had uh, Harry Scherer from, uh, I believe he was, uh, he's a Mo on uh, on The Simpsons, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Gaddy uh, Wananami, who of course worked with Ron Howard on uh, Gong Ho. Uh, you even had uh, Rupe Paul was in this. Uh, he has some really cool uh, casters in this film. Uh, Ian Goldman was just pretty good in this. It's really hilarious. It's such a fun, um, funny flick to watch. If you guys have not really seen um, seen EDTV, definitely give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, uh, and the film did pretty well uh, as well. Um, it has about a 64% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not bad. And as for the box office wise, it made about thirty five point two million. One of Ron Howard's lowest films, but it's not for a film like this. It it's not so bad. 
And Matthew McConaughey was pretty young when he did this film, too. He was, like, 28. I mean, of course, you know, the nice Matthew McConaughey was trying to get his uh, foot in the door with Days and Confused and all that. And this was one of his, uh, like, break -ass, like breakout roles here. And Matthew McConaughey was great. You know, I mean, he's always great. So, yeah. Anyway, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen EDTV? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayo.